So this is the story about how a 1,700-year-old burial ritual led to the solving of a 20-year-old murder. In 1983, two professional peat cutters were working at Lindau Moss, a peat bog outside of Wimslow, Cheshire, England, when one of them noticed what appeared to be a football on the conveyor belt. Upon approaching and examining the object, the workers quickly discovered that it was a very well-preserved human head. This was not the type of place that archaeological discoveries such as this are typically found, so the authorities were alerted and the first thing they did was start looking into a 20-year-old cold case. Now because all they had was a piece of the head, including some brain matter and part of the optic nerve, they sent it to Cambridge University for testing, while at the same time bringing in the husband of a woman who had gone missing locally 20 years prior. Upon learning of the discovery of the body, the husband immediately admitted to the murder, only for the results to come back from Cambridge, showing that this body was over 1,700 years old. He confessed that he'd killed his wife, Malika de Fernandez, after she'd attempted to extort him in exchange for remaining silent about his homosexuality. Once the results came back, he quickly changed his statement, but prosecutors eventually got him to plead guilty to manslaughter. As fascinating as bog bodies and the related archaeology is, I think that the chemistry of bog bodies is particularly interesting. Because it's a very narrow set of circumstances that have to be met before a body can become a bog body. First of all, the bog has to be about 4 degrees Celsius when the body is first deposited. The year-round average temperature has to remain below 10 degrees Celsius, and the moisture has to stay constant. It cannot dry out, and there can also not be an influx of fresh water. Once all these circumstances are met, the peat moss in the bog goes to work. It acidifies the water, and it also releases sugar into the water, which absorbs oxygen, creating an anaerobic environment. So not only is it highly acidic, there is absolutely no oxygen. On top of this, the moss is releasing tannins into the water, so the first two things that they did, the acidification and the anaerobic environment, made it very difficult for things to grow, and then the tannins actually tan the human hide. Now, according to Google, something like 10% of animals turn into fossils. I would be really interested to learn what percentage of bodies put in bogs actually turn into bog bodies. The oldest dated bog body is from 8000 BC. Uh, it's Kolbjörg Man from Denmark, and the most recent ones are from as recent as World War II. No, I'm not going to leave you hanging this time. Those are the remains of Boris Lazarev, a Soviet hurricane pilot. He was shot down at the age of 22 in 1943, and his remains were discovered in 1998. I'm having a lot of trouble finding exactly where his remains were found, but it was found by a St. Petersburg group that was specifically looking for things like this. And it's interesting, it wasn't just the bog that preserved this body, it was also the combination of oil and gasoline that entered uh, around his body as well.